Good afternoon. My name is John with the Pine Tree. I have the great pleasure of being here with one of the Bear Valley. You're like a fixture here, aren't you? Paul Peterson, Bear Valley Cross Country. John, nice to be with you. I've been called uh, chairs, uh, hood ornaments, and now I'm a fixture. That's good. Now, how many years have you been up here? Well, this will be my 34th winter. 34th. And 33 years of teaching both cross country skiing and, and alpine skiing. Wow. So, love it here. Oh, yeah. Now, as many of you know who watch this, the, uh, the mountain opened uh, this weekend. Now, next weekend, you guys should be ready to roll. Huh? Isn't that the... Well, yesterday we woke up to an inch of snow yeah. on top of meadow grass and right. pies, right. and now uh, we're up to about a foot, right. and we're expecting another foot tonight. Mm -hmm. So it's dry, light snow, so that's not ideal for early season. Right. So we're going to need three, maybe four feet of this dry, light snow to get all our facilities yeah. open. But, uh, we should have some ski trails open on Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, and Sunday. We'll have you know everything going to the Meadow Cafe, <laughs> right? Uh, Reynolds lessons, all that stuff. It's Christmas. We gotta oh, yeah. be open. You gotta be open. Now, I know your name's Bear Valley Cross Country, but you guys, in some ways, are a lot more than that. I mean, you have. I mean, not only do you have the store here and everything else, but you do. You know, the there's all kinds of stuff you guys do, isn't it? Is it? Well, there's four main. Uh, activities that we yeah. focus on here, and then we help people get to all the other activities. Right. So you just stop by, you want to do something else other than what we're talking about, we'll give you maps, information, brochures, and we'll right. get you on your way. We're at the entrance of our valley, so yeah. it's a uh, perfect place. We've got a little visitor information center on the side, mm -hmm. a lot of local knowledge just being here for so long. So, But the four activities that we focus on are cross country skiing, snowshoeing, right. sledding, and tubing. Uh, and, and those are our two newest activities. Uh, we've had sledding quite some time. We had a two yeah. two years ago, and that's been a hit, um, especially with Cottage Spring shot. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. loves yeah. the two. And that's, I mean, those two things, the sledding and the two, I mean, they've really, they've, that's been a nice piece of your business. I mean, isn't it developed into that? Is that? Well, our whole theme is kind of affordable winter recreation. Right. And, and uh, number one, sledding is just, great family activity, uh, regardless of how much it costs. We charge $10 for a sled that we rent you right. and uh, a nice room sledding environment. And uh, that, you know, is kind of where it, where it starts. So it becomes affordable. Two things, 15, we go on to cross country skiing and snowshoeing. It's a little more right. than that with rentals and a trail fee. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's been... It's been a fun addition because when your employees take their kids out there, right. you know you got a big hit. right. <laughs> now, now let's see. Is is people is like myself? I'm in my mid forties now. I've put on a couple pounds over the years, and I need to drop a few this year. Now, what's some of the things? Is there? I mean, cross country. This is good exercise stuff. I mean, it's what's what would you recommend for some of the? You know, you may got a creaky knee or something like that. You know, what's some of the the well, cross-country skiing is, is, number one, it's easy, particularly in, in the environment that we right. have out there with large meadows and groomed trails. Uh, and it, it kind of gets bad rap sometimes. Oh, that's a lot of work. <laughs> and you're uh, just fully fit, you know, cross-country runners and, and cyclists that go, oh, that's a lot of work. And, and the activity level is it's just like walking. You can go as fast as you want, and you can dial it down, dial it up. Um, I guess a technical question with the, with the groomed trails and the tracks. I mean, is it is it an easier learning curve? I mean, is it fairly easy learning curve to do it as far as? Uh, well, imagine learning how to downhill ski right in the powder. That, right, you, that probably That'd wouldn't go well. Yeah, it wouldn't and, go and well. So it's yeah. a similar situation. You know, there's backcountry skiing, going out skiing wild snow. Mm -hmm. You need to be at at least an intermediate level of skier, preferably advanced, to enjoy that. Right. So a lot of people that take their friends backcountry skiing because they're a good skier, they want to introduce their friends, they get sandbagged and they skip right. poor snow conditions and they have a bad time. And, and we've lost a lot of people that have had that experience with the tracks. It's it's virtually guaranteed that everybody can do it, and they can pick and choose how difficult the terrain you want to ski based on you know, green, blue, black, and just like that. Uh, so, yeah, you guys actually have one of the largest I mean, systems on the, the entire West Coast, don't you? Isn't this one of the? Well, it's, it's really one of the largest in the country. Uh, That's okay. So it's it's large, but. 
more than that, it's it's just quality. Right. We have right. quality Alpine Ski Area at Snowboard Center, and we have a, a equal and, and you know sort of world class type cross country facility. So we're really fortunate to have this in the you know yeah. Highway Four area to have such great facilities. So clubs, right. uh, very favorable at the top resorts. It's way better than a lot of them, and you know, our reputation is among the best in the nation. Now you were a, I know you were a world class, you know, you still are an athlete. You got know, some pretty good, you know, some caliber level of it on your teaching and you know, staff. Is that fair? Is it? Yeah. Well, I've had the, the good fortune of, of being involved with the national team for 12 right. years and track the other national team people to teach here. Yeah. And, uh, part of my role with that is to train our instructor staff on mm -hmm. the world class lessons. Mm -hmm. So we've got a great large fleet of certified instructors and uh, passionate about it. They're good at it. They make it fun, they make it easy. Uh, they're real you know, uh, empathetic with different people's learning styles and stuff. And so, yeah, that is another uh, cylinder that we've got a good part of. Yeah. Is really because you guys, I mean, just the expert. I mean, you have the, yeah. And now, I guess, a little bit about the equipment. Now, what is some of the, I know if people aren't been following it for a couple of years, what's some of the, what's some of the exciting stuff now as far as? Well, like downhill skis, mm -hmm. you can see these things are a little taller than head height. Uh, yeah. The skis have gotten shorter. Got so it. they're easy to turn and stop. So they don't have to be the, you know, the old. It used to be you measure them with your hand over your head, and you know your upstretched right. thumb. Right. So I'm five ten. I'm skiing on a two o five, and now I'm skiing on a one eighty. Wow. And uh, so you know what a lot of people struggled with with cross country skiing is like you'd be on a two fifteen. You try and make a snow plow with that, and then you throw that into a nice little turn, maybe a little. Parallel action. A little degree of difficulty. Very right? difficult. <laughs> so not only have the skis gotten shorter, but the boots have gotten taller. They are now, you know, got hinge plastic cuffs and ankle support, things like that that really have added to the control. So you just what do people want? They don't want to fall down. So this is stuff that came from the technology is falling down a whole bunch less than yeah. Yeah. what you used to have to do on, yeah. on the older gear. So we rent that gear. We, okay. we uh, you know, make it easy to you know, check that out. Right. Uh, right. And then if you know, it's good, you want to purchase. We're, uh, you know, very cool. Cross country gear is hard to find. Uh, yeah. We got the only shop between here and Modesto. So, uh, you know, crack staff and uh, oh, yeah. uh, lots of gear. Very you can nice. see behind us. All the good stuff. And, uh, no, the, the gear improvement's been fun. Now, the snowshoeing part is becoming a part of a decent part of your business. Is, I mean, is that is that really? You know, what tell us a little about that stuff? Well, you know, snowshoeing, uh, aka winter hiking, right. has gotten really popular, and uh, these green trails basically uh, are an option. It's, it's uh, when, to go in backcountry snow if it's deep. It it really. Uh, creates a lot of work for snow right. showing. Right. Uh, so then days like that, it's nice to come out where it's been packed down right. and, uh, and it's easy. So the shoes have gotten really lightweight oh, yeah. and so you don't feel like you have a smaller huh? I mean, the trash can lids on your yeah. leg. Yeah. They are smaller and uh, with the groom snow situation going on in groom trails, you can go with a really Got small it. shoe. Got it. Because it's not having the flow platform as much. Yeah. yeah. So if, if you're going out in the back country, you're still going to need the big shoe. Right. Big platform. A little slower pace, a little more hiking. Might use your ski poles for that. Mm -hmm. Down mm -hmm. poles work or uh, some adjustable ones or whatever. And uh, no, it just, it's grown popular. People, it, you know, Maybe you have some mobility issues, right. like you got a knee replacement, right. Uh, right. great at golf but not so good at skiing. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. kinds of folks have, have really been attracted to the snowshoeing thing. Nice. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's funny if you don't have a pair, you know, put it on your Christmas list. Put a pair on the Christmas list. Yeah, they're still tough. And, and you have plenty here, right? Well, yeah. we've got them, yeah. <laughs> Those are available elsewhere, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So what were you going to ask me about? No, we were going to talk about you're going to do some other stuff new this year, like horse-drawn stuff, like historic, well, 
Yeah. <laughs> Just when we thought we knew about all the fun stuff, we could we pull another uh, yeah. horse out of our hat. Yes, yes, of course. So we partnered with Horse and Barrel and Altitude Catering. And really, it's their event. Right. Uh, the Horse and Barrel guys have got this awesome uh, sleigh. And they have a horse, so it's the one horse open sleigh. Very nice. And with the altitude catering uh, component, we're going to have a deal where families and kids can uh, take a sleigh ride, go to a bonfire. Very nice. Santa Claus. Very nice. A little bit of uh, marshmallow roasting. Oh, wonderful. And then some nice appetizers and things like that. So that's this Saturday and Sunday afternoon. This coming Saturday yes. and Sunday. Yes. Okay. And All right. 21st. Okay. Uh, it's our first crack at it. We uh, we have um, high hopes for oh, just yeah. nothing but a great time. And, yeah. um, if if you get a, a good response, is that something you could conceivably do a little more of? Is that something that they think they would like to like as almost a recurring thing? Or? Well, it, you know, it's every special event start like we do the Moonlight Ski right. Tour years ago, yeah. and then. Wow, that was pretty okay. special. We need to do some more of those. Yeah. So uh, we're hoping that, that that might turn into that. Very nice. The horse is going to spend the night down the hill out of the cold and come back up the next day. Uh, the sleigh will probably stick. So you're not going to make him pull a grooming sled or anything at night just to... Uh, no, the, the horse is... <laughs> uh, I've seen that done in China, but <laughs> oh. we don't do that here. Uh, we've got better technology. <laughs> better technology. Yeah. Well, thank you. You know, we really right. appreciate you spending oh, a few minutes with us. Now, I guess the last little bit is what, to summarize, if, if I mean, we know that people think about alpine skiing, they know what that is, but just as this, I mean, you guys are a lot of stuff here. So the four things, or what this, should they remember? Well, it, you know, it just all starts with sliding on snow. And there you and go. You can do that with the sledding, yeah. uh, which is open daily. We can and check with us to, to yeah. know when that yeah. starts. but. Do you need uh, like three feet, isn't yeah, that Yeah, it, it probably won't start this weekend. Yeah. So we got the yeah. sledding, and then that's daily. Then we have the tooting on the weekends and holidays. Then every day we have the snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. Uh, we also rent, you know, telemark ski gear if right. you want to get into that uh, as a sort of Nordic type activity. Mm -hmm. And then if you're just coming up here and want to know how to have a good time and need a little direction, uh, we've got that as well. So thank you. You bet. Thanks for having me. Thanks.